In South Carolina, polls closed at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight. Right now, with 54 percent of precincts reporting, it looks like Nikki Haley, Republican gubernatorial nominee wannabe, is ahead, well ahead of her nearest challenger, Gresham Barrett. She's up with, again, 54 percent of precincts reporting, whereas she's up 48 to 23. Nikki Haley needs to clear 50 percent of the vote tonight to avoid a runoff. Uh, right now, Andre Bauer and Henry McMaster trailing the two leading candidates in that race with 17 and 12 percent, respectively. But again, 54 percent of precincts reporting. Nikki Haley out ahead, but she's got to get 50 percent in order to not end up in a runoff. That is the Republican race uh, for a nominee for governor in the great state of South Carolina. Right now in Nevada, one of the single most unintentionally hilarious primaries of the season is in its final hour. Polls are still open until 10 p.m. Eastern in Nevada. Republicans are choosing a candidate to run against Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid in the fall. Now, there's no doubt that Harry Reid is politically weak in his home state, and Republicans have been super excited about challenging him. But the top two Republicans going into today's primary are both famous for things you don't generally want to be famous for as a political candidate, at least not in the 21st century, or most of the 20th. Maybe the 19th, maybe? Sue Loudon was seen as the Republican establishment candidate, the prohibitive favorite in the race. Most famous, she's most famous nationally, I guess now, for suggesting bartering using poultry as her proposed solution to high health care costs. You know, before we all started having health care in the olden days, our grandparents, they would bring a chicken to the doctor. I'm not backing down from that system. I I'm not backing down from that. And that, my friends, is why people in chicken suits are prohibited from loitering around polling places in Nevada today. Thank you, Sue Loudon. It should be noted, however, that while just hanging around a polling place dressed as a chicken is now verboten, actually voting while dressed as a chicken is still totally legal in Nevada. So apparently we are still a free country. Thank you very much. Of course, if Sue Loudon hadn't already been super famous for the pay your doctor with a chicken thing, she would have become famous late last month when she said this to John Ralston of the Las Vegas Sun. Do you think that Rand Paul is right that the Civil Rights Act should not extend into private businesses? You should be able to tell and this them. Is, this is what I say. I'm, I'm more interested in what we're doing here in Nevada. Well, it's I a have simple an, question. I have, it's a simple question, but it's a gotcha question. And frankly, I, ha I wouldn't even know Rand Paul if I saw him on I'm TV. Not about Rand Paul. I haven't been watching that race. Do you I think the Civil Rights Act should apply I to private businesses? I think you businesses. want to change the subject from what's really happening here. Nobody's asking that question, John. So you're not going to answer Nobody, it? No. Okay. So in Sue Loudon's world, we should all be able to pay the family doctor in foodstuffs. And do you agree with the Civil Rights Act is a gotcha question. As you might imagine, although she was the prohibitive early establishment favorite, Sue Loudon's poll numbers in Nevada have been sinking like a stone falling through water. Enter Sharon Engel, the conservative Tea Party-backed candidate in Nevada who stole the lead from Sue Loudon in the run-up to Election Day. Ms. Engel has since become pretty famous herself. Policy-wise, Sharon Engel wants to get rid of Social Security and close down the Department of Education because you know who needs them. But she's probably most famous for something she said in 2006 about alcohol, about how she was against it being legal. Quote, I would tell you that I have the same feelings about legalizing marijuana, not medical marijuana, but just legalizing marijuana. I feel the same about legalizing alcohol. The effect on society is so great that I'm just not a real proponent of legalizing any drug or encouraging any drug abuse. Remember, she wants to be the senator from Nevada, which last I checked is where Las Vegas is. Now watch what happened when it was her turn to talk to John Ralston, and she was forced to explain her self-admitted position on prohibition. Her self-admitted position against the legalization of, say, beer. You want to bring back prohibition now? <laughs> no, John. We we uh, actually repealed prohibition with the twenty first century. Well thanks Amendment. for telling me that, but what are you talking about there? You're you're the you're the one who says I feel the same about legalizing alcohol. You're you're you, you would go back and you want to put prohibition back I, in. You know, I think you've lost the point here. <laughs> Did you mean that when home. you said it or not? Let's just get that off the table now and we'll move on to a more important what, issue. What we were talking about was the impact of these kinds of things on our state and on our people. You know, Mothers Against Drug Drivers, I don't think you would call them prohibitionists, but certainly they have brought a focus and an education to an issue that we've long So you don't want to outlaw alcohol? No. Good. Those are the top two Republican candidates in the Nevada primary.
go up against Harry Reid. Their most famous positions are, we should be able to pay doctors with chickens, and maybe booze should be illegal. I see a very amusing fall campaign in Nevada's future. Joining us now is John Ralston, columnist for the Las Vegas Sun, host of Face to Face with John Ralston, and cheerful interrogator of all Nevada politicians. John Ralston, thanks very much for your time tonight. <laughs> Hi, uh, so, John, hey, it's good to see you, John. Tell, tell me who Harry Reid is rooting for in the Republican primary tonight. Well, it's tough to ch choose between chickens and prohibition, right, Rachel? But I think he's opting for <laughs> prohibition and Scientology, and that's uh, Sharon Angle uh, in, in this race. The, the main reason is, uh, of course, because Sharon Angle, you mentioned some of her positions. She also wants the U.S. to get out of the U.N. Uh, she wants to get rid of Social Security, these kinds of things. 15% uh, of the voters here registered independents. Uh, Sue Loudon could maybe come back to the middle. Sharon Angle is just not, she's not constitutionally capable of coming back to the middle. In fact, she, she was the Tea Party before the Tea Party even existed, Rachel. So I think Harry Reid, that's why he's been sending out these press releases for months every day attacking Sue Loud. One other candidate thought to be competitive in the Republican primary in Nevada, that of course is Danny Tarkanian, son of the famous former UNLV basketball coach Jerry Tarkanian. If this were a normal election, if the other candidates weren't talking about paying your doctor with chickens or making beer illegal, then Tarkanian would have been the most famous candidate in this race. Does he have any sort of a shot tonight? I think he's got a chance. Of course, the only reason he's competitive is because of his last name, son of the legendary basketball coach here. But I have to tell you, I think of all the three candidates, he's run the best campaign, at least for a Republican primary. Early on, he sensed the anti-establishment fervor that's out there in the electorate, portrayed loud and correctly as the establishment candidate, po pointed out a few of her votes in the legislature, one of her comments about the bailouts, and he also latched on to the issue, which of course is totally disingenuous, illegal immigration, but that's an 85% percent uh, approval rating issue here in Nevada, Rachel, in the Republican primary. So he's gained some traction. He still could benefit by all this carnage between Loudon and Angle in the final days, but I still think it's going to be tough for him to win. John, I know that in Nevada you can actually vote against everyone. There's a none of these candidates option on the ballot. Uh, how do you think Mr. or Miss none of these candidates is going to fare in today's election? You know, it's going to be interesting to watch that uh, because none of the above actually has actually come close to winning some elections uh, in in Nevada. So I, I don't think it's going to get quite there in this election. But more more importantly to watch, Rachel, is where does that get in the general election? That's what Harry Reid hopes will save him because starting tomorrow, he's going to unleash his arsenal against either the chickens or the prohibitionists. And then we're really going to have some fun. Let me ask you about one last election, one last election issue uh, in Nevada briefly, John, and that's uh, the gubernatorial race. Your governor, Republican Governor Jim Gibbons, likely to become the first governor in Nevada history to lose in a primary. What brought Jim Gibbons down? Oh, we don't have time for that, Rachel. We'll be, a, we'll be doing a telethon if I have to tell you all of those different things. Uh, but, but, you know, there's a lot of personal problems that he's had, filing for divorce, his wife making some very ugly accusations publicly, and that divorce has been going on now for a couple of years. But then you just take the fact that he has no respect among even members of his own party, that essentially people inside his own party recruited a federal judge off of the bench, a lifetime appointment, Brian Sandoval, uh, an attractive uh, Hispanic, to run in that primary to knock him off. He's going to win by probably 10, 15, maybe even 20 points uh, tonight to give the Republicans a chance to hold on to the governorship. John Ralston, columnist for the Las Vegas Sun, host of Face to Face with John Ralston, uh, and a friend of the show. I'm very proud to say, John, thanks very much for joining us. I know it's going to be a real busy night in Nevada. Good to be back with you, Rachel.